Coming down here to meet me wasn't too inconvenient for you, Hoshino-san. I'm Senda from Bato Detective Agency. Uh, so, you were kind of vague on the phone. What were you trying to get at? You really don't know what this is about? Rocking those shades at this time of night is telling me a different story, son. Mark of a guilty conscience. I assure you that's not the case. Anyway, what did you want to discuss? It's what I was telling you over the phone. We got a request from Saori Shirasaki to look into you, but I figured I'd do you a solid and let you see what I found before I reported back to my client. Yeah, but what's this? <laughs> you don't recognize your girl? We snapped a quick pic when she came to the office. No way. Why would Sauri, son? Way I hear it, you two are getting engaged soon, so you can finally tie the knot. But sometimes, women get cold feet, you know? They just want to know what they're getting into. I see it all the time. You're... Okay, then. So, what did you find, sir? I haven't done anything that would incriminate me. And this is a violation of detective client privilege. You're breaking the rules. Oh, no, that's a pretty good one. As I'd expect from a lawyer. But Hoshino, you really think you can bluff your way out of this shot? Uh, oh. Well, well, well. I do believe that's you strolling out of a Kamurocho love hotel, Slugger. Uh, One last fling before the big day? Uh, <laughs> Hope you made it worth your time. What? The... This is... You've got it all wrong! Whoa, whoa! Take it easy, would ya? Come on, Hoshino-san. We don't have to play by courtroom rules here. It's simple. I can make this whole thing disappear for you. Only reason lawyers don't go to hell is because they can afford not to. In other words, you're saying I have to pay you now to delete that picture? Nothing I love more than a fast learner, kid. Four million yen. This goes up in smoke, and the client never has to hear anything to the contrary. Four million yen? I don't have that kind of money! Your whole damn future is riding on this deal I'm making you. It's a small price to pay, isn't it? Yeah, but... Hey, Hoshino. Would you prefer that I send this to your office with a nice little bow? I... So, you take the client's money up front. Then you shake down the mark for another four million on top. Man, you corrupt detectives really rake it in, don't you? Who the fuck? Shit. You were... You were in the Matsugane. And you're Shiro Senda. You were a former lieutenant in the Bato family. And right now, you're on my turf. Kaito-san! That was my acting. Not bad if I say so myself. Huh? Acting? One of your old clients came to us to help her get her money back. As it turns out, your little extortion racket has been getting around. And that's why Hoshino-kun and Saori-san put together a three-act play that got us everything we need. All that's left to do is bag your ass with it. Ain't that right, Hoshino-kun? Yep. I got the whole thing on tape. Hey! Uh... All right. That'll be four million yen you took from your client. Plus 300,000 for annoying me. You need to hit an ATM? Get back here! It was just another day in Kamurocho. After resolving a local incident, Kaito is approached by Kyoya Sadamoto, who asks him to search for his late wife Mikiko. Mikiko was Kaito's old flame, who parted ways with him long ago. Kaito turns Sadamoto down before any past wounds can reopen. 
but he soon finds himself face to face with Sadamoto's son, June. That's when June tells him the unthinkable, that Kaito might be his real father. Let go of me, you crazy bitch! Listen up! You lay a finger on Maho, I'll snap his arm clean off! Uh, hey, sis! This is bad! It's real bad! Hey! What the hell? Am I seeing this right? Why is Hoda getting his ass wet? I take it this gorilla is your muscle? You gonna try me or beat your chest? You're the one calling me a gorilla? Guys, what the fuck happened? It all started with the girl on the floor. She racked up quite a bill at one of our host clubs, but when the check came, she couldn't settle. We were gonna have to work it off at a cabaret club, but... This chick busted and it went fucking ballistic. What? Wait. How exactly is any of this our fault? You tell me, man. I wash my hands of it. You're running the cabaret club starting next month. You deal with this shit. Oh, come on. Hey, Hoda. Let's hear your side. She barged in here out of nowhere and came straight at me. Out of nowhere, my ass. I had to do something. For real? You two have to get your story straight. <laughs> Mickey go! I'm her bodyguard. If you want to get hands on tonight, start with me. You heard that, boys? This fucking bastard! Take him down! Hey! If you want me, then come get me! Go! Bitches couldn't catch me if you tried! Bye! Go get his ass! You dumbass. You got lucky. Supposed to tuck and roll. Oh, and you owe me for the window. Hey, freeze! Solves that problem. Bet they'll think twice about pulling that again. Kaito and June take to the streets to discover Mikiko's whereabouts. But the clues don't come easy, as Mikiko was reported dead two years back. Eventually, a doctor by the name of Yasutaka Shirakaba turns up. It seems Shirakaba had been looking for Mikiko as well. Following their only solid lead, Kaito and June head to Shirakaba's clinic in the remote countryside. Yet an unknown danger threatens to end their investigation early on. And not half bad by the looks of it. Yeah, thanks. I've been practicing a while. Ugh. 
<sighs> hey! You assholes got started without me! I thought I told you to wait till I got here. Shuchan! This guy's a pain in the ass! So let me take over for you. Better clear me a path, boys! Yo! It's on! <laughs> You're just drunk, dude. And you must be Kaito-san, huh? I'm the front man for Crimson Lotus. Kenmochi is the name. Just so you know, I've never been defeated in the underground fighting circuit. You're looking at a real fucking champ. My boys are ready for you versus me. Maybe we should have sold tickets, yeah? Huh? Let's give them a good show, huh? Mm. Oh. Oh, sorry about this, big guy. an eye on you. Hey, stay back! Kaito-san! Look up there! Mikiko! What is she doing? Yo! No! Let us through! I told you it's not safe! Crap! I should be able to get up through there. Shirakawa-san, watch June for me! with them, I lost track of all the guys in that gang. The fact that I'm even here is just a coincidence. You're a liar! <gasps> hey! Where's that backup? If they don't get here soon, then Nishimura's dead! <sighs> Mikiko! Masaru-san? Tell me why, Mikiko. They killed them. My whole family. They took my mother and my father. Mo! They burned them alive! What? Are you sure? I thought Maho Chan's stalker was behind us. It's just the lies they told me. They're the ones who really killed them. Unbelievable. Azizaki san! Damn you! <laughs> Die!
each other's blood on the goddamn mat. Oh, it's all coming back. My days chasing glory and spilling guts in the underground. Can you feel the adrenaline? Then show me what you got, Kaijo! Bastard. I'll make you pay with your life. A series of brutal murders rocks the young elites in Kamurocho. Each victim was a founder of Crimson Lotus, a group of thugs for hire. Mikiko lost her only sister at the hands of these thugs, along with her foster parents. And to get revenge, she takes matters into her own hands. Like a phantom in the night, she attempts to kill the Crimson Lotus founders one by one. However, Ken Mochi lays an ambush for Mikiko, fearing that he might be her next target. Kaito bursts in on the scene and returns Mikiko back to safety. Seeing her safe and sound grants him a moment's repose, but their ordeal is far from over. That's more like it. Finally, the stuff started kicking in. Big relief. Shoot shot! This is bad! The whole party's... Oh no! It appears to be taking a bit longer than I'd have liked. Okay, Sadamoto, tell me. What the hell did you do? Well... <laughs> I imagine this will go down as one of the deadliest dinners in history. Would you like to see? <laughs> Aren't I thoughtful? Mikiko. It's okay. I'm here. Huh? Well, 
Well, this changes things. Your little storyline just took a twist. What are you playing at? How about I rewrite this scenario? A dirtbag husband commits mass murder, then gets caught and tries to pin it on his wife. So a Yakuza steps in and puts him down. <gasps> I go to jail and it's happily ever after. Just stay out of this. You can't get blood on your hands. June needs you in his life. <clears throat> can't imagine I'll miss at this range. <laughs> you say that, but how else am I gonna get strong? Strong enough to protect the people I care about. You want to get strong, June? Then focus on what's in here. Huh? What do you mean? Just keep that fire burning in your heart, and it'll all make sense one day. with the monster who killed my family! My only sister! How does it feel right now? You calculate this too? Goddamn coward! Mickey, go! Don't do it! I should have ended this... a whole lot sooner. Revenge! It nearly killed me. I realized what was precious was right in front of me. But then I went down the path of vengeance for the boss of the Matsukane family. And now, here you are, doing the same thing. Why, Mom? What happens now? You're gonna get yourself locked up? <gasps> You're leaving me again? What was it you said? Everything was a lie! Was I a lie too? Oh, 
You know what, Kaito? I've been thinking. I never really wanted to be a Yakuza. It was something different all along. Oh, yeah? And what would that be? Not a detective. I want to be the kind of guy you can depend on. Someone who's strong. Someone like you, man. So don't worry. As much as it hurts, I'll be okay. <laughs> June, I know it's tough. I can take it. And besides, I'm not a kid anymore. Hell, you get so beefy. After those thugs came, I vowed to do whatever it takes to get stronger. To build myself into a new person. One who would never let harm come to Mikiko's son. So these past two years, I've made the gym my second home. And on top of that, I've practiced every form of martial art available to me. What I've learned is this. With the insurmountable will to protect the ones you love, even a frail physician can rise up and become stronger than any threat that comes knocking. All right then. You made your point. Guess we're throwing down. Let's do this. Shirakawa! Come! Kaito-san! <sighs> Seems you've had enough. We squared up now? Yeah. Now it's out of my system. Thank you. Why do men have to be so primitive? So then... Where do we go from here? Uh... Didn't you say you were taking me back home? Uh... Um... Guess I did. <clears throat> uh... Yeah... Where to start? <clears throat> 
So, uh, when I said my place was clean and all... Sorry. That was a big lie. Even on a good day, it's about as clean as a farmhouse. And the bathroom's moldy. Yeah? And I'm flat broke. Seriously? Being a detective doesn't always pay the bills. Pretty often, I'll be months behind rent. Sometimes I can't even afford dinner. Well, you're gonna have to fix that, aren't you? I'll try. Will you still join me? Gladly.